Kamala Harris praises them, AGS, for taking on crisis pregnancy centers rocked by violence. Dozens of crisis pregnancy centers have been attacked and vandalized since a Supreme Court decision leaked in May. Vice President Kamala Harris praised state Democrat attorneys general for taking on crisis pregnancy centers, organizations that were the subject of violent protests and vandalism over the summer. During her speech at the Democrat Attorneys General Association conference in Mayoki on Thursday, Harris praised the Attorneys General as the top law enforcement officers in their state who are fighting on the front lines to defend their rights. You are also, of course, leading the fight to protect the freedom of women to make decisions about their own bodies, Harris said. So, as we all know, earlier this year, in the Dobbs decision, the United States Supreme Court took away a constitutional right that had been recognized from the people of America, from the women of America. You are taking on regularly the crisis pregnancy centers, launching public education campaigns, she continued. And in the midst of the vast amount of confusion, they need a view as the truth tellers to sort out fiction from the fact and combat misinformation and disinformation, which we all know often creates a situation that is ripe for predatory practice. Crisis pregnancy centers have been under siege for much of the summer since the Supreme Court overturned Rio v. Wade and returned the duty of making law governing abortion to the states. Violence began in May when a draft opinion signaling the, quit the court's plan to overturn the landmark case. Within days, at least five crisis pregnancy centers were attacked and dozens of more incidents followed. Last month, a crisis pregnancy center in St. Paul, Minnesota was vandalized, with people smashing windows and spray painting. If abortion is not safe, neither are you. The White House has previously denounced violence against the centers, telling Fox News Digital in June that Violence and destruction of property have no place in our country under any circumstances, and the, pres and the president denounces this action. We should all agree that actions like this are completely unacceptable, regardless of our politics.